The stepmother, weary of a life she hadn't bargained for, leads her stepdaughter, Millie, into the depths of the forest with callous intent. Amidst the enchanting yet perilous woods, Millie finds herself abandoned, facing the looming threat of predators. The stepmother, vexed by Millie's perceived weakness, leaves her behind without a backward glance, relieved to escape her incessant complaints. Alone and frightened, Millie navigates the unfamiliar terrain, her heart pounding with every step. The forest, once a scene of whimsical beauty, now harbors unseen dangers, echoing with the eerie silence of abandonment. With each glance over her shoulder, Millie hopes for a familiar face, yet finds only the shadows of the trees and the chilling realization of her isolation. Lost and disoriented, Millie's terror mounts when she encounters a formidable bear, its menacing presence casting a shadow over her fragile resolve. Frozen in fear, she braces herself for the worst, her mind racing with thoughts of her distant parents and the warmth of home she now longs for desperately. But just as despair threatens to engulf her, a guardian emerges from the shadows, a wolf, its primal instincts tempered by a hint of compassion. Though fear still grips her heart, Millie finds a flicker of hope in the wolf's watchful gaze, a silent promise of protection amidst the wilderness. Torn between the looming threats of bear and wolf, Millie's world narrows to a trembling heartbeat and the whispered prayers of a child lost in the darkening forest. In the depths of her despair, she clings to memories of bedtime stories and the comforting embrace of family, yearning for the safety and security she once took for granted. As night falls and the forest echoes with the haunting cries of nocturnal creatures, Millie's fate hangs in the balance. A fragile thread stretched between the savage instincts of the wild and the enduring resilience of the human spirit. Amidst their troubled relationship, Millie remained oblivious to the depth of her parents' struggles. Despite their love for her, Lydia and Stanley faced their own battles, yet shielded their daughter from the turmoil of their separation. They maintained a facade of unity, ensuring Millie never bore the burden of their discord, perceiving her parents as steadfast allies and confidants. But as their paths diverged, so did their ability to shield Millie from the harsh realities of their fractured bond. Stanley's introduction of Anna shattered the fragile illusion of family unity thrusting Millie into a world where her parents' reconciliation seemed increasingly remote. The sight of her father with another woman pierced Millie's heart, forcing her to confront the painful truth that her parents might never reunite. In the midst of Millie's emotional upheaval, Anna's arrival only exacerbated her distress. Instead of offering understanding and support, Anna harbored resentment towards Millie, her presence a constant reminder of Stanley's past life. Despite Stanley's attempts to integrate Anna into their family dynamic, Millie felt the chill of rejection in Anna's icy demeanor, a stark contrast to her father's affectionate facade. With each family gathering, Millie's sense of displacement deepened, her longing for moments of intimacy with her parents overshadowed by Anna's intrusive presence. No longer did she experience the simple joy of familial connection, every interaction tainted by Anna's subtle disdain. Caught in the crossfire of adult emotions, Millie grappled with feelings of confusion and abandonment, yearning for the stability of her parents' love yet confronted with the harsh reality of their fractured bond. As Anna's resentment simmered beneath the surface, Millie found herself navigating a treacherous landscape of strained relationships and unspoken animosity. Her innocence shattered by the bitter truth of adult disillusionment. Anne's anticipation of starting a new chapter with her husband's sword when she walked down the aisle on their wedding day. However, her joy turned to seething rage when she spotted Lydia and Millie in the front row. Stanley's decision to invite them felt like a betrayal. A blatant disregard for Anne's wishes on her special day. With weeks passed, Anne's frustration mounted with each instance of Stanley prioritizing his daughter over her. Despite her patience wearing thin, she clung to the hope that her moment to shine would eventually arrive. Yet, a pivotal event ignited and simmering resentment into a blazing inferno. An important dinner, meticulously planned to impress Anne's boss and esteemed clients, 
was overshadowed by Stanley's neglect. Tasked with a simple errand to procure wine, Stanley's attention was diverted by a distressing call from Lydia, in the aftermath of a car accident involving Lydia and Millie. Anne's ambitions were eclipsed by Stanley's urgent rush to their side. Nightfall found Stanley torn between comforting his injured family and fulfilling Anne's expectations. Exhausted and overwhelmed, he returned home to find Anne's silent reproach manifested in a makeshift bed on the couch. Despite his weariness, Anne's icy demeanor persisted. Her indifference to the well being of Lydia and Millie fueling Stanley's growing frustration. As tensions reached a boiling point, Anne's single minded focus on her dinner party exposed the fault lines in their relationship. With Stanley's patience wearing thin, Anne's callous disregard for their family's welfare threatened to unravel the fragile bonds holding their marriage together. Caught in the web of her conflicting emotions, and grappled with the realization that her disdain for Lydia and Millie couldn't be openly displayed. Aware of Stanley's sensitivity when it came to his daughter, she struggled to conceal her jealousy, a festering wound gnawing at her soul. In the aftermath of Lydia's injury, Anne's resentment simmered beneath the surface when Stanley devoted himself to caring for Millie's needs. Each moment spent attending to Millie's events felt like a dagger to Anne's heart leaving her feeling isolated and abandoned in her own home. Desperate to bridge the chasm between herself and Millie, and saw an opportunity to bond with the girl during a planned forest excursion, promising Stanley that she could handle the outing, and envisioned a chance to prove her worth as a potential mother figure. However, the day took a disastrous turn when Anne's impatience clashed with Millie's physical limitations. Ignoring Stanley's warnings about Millie's inability to walk long distances, and pushed forward at an unforgiving pace. Blind to the girl's mounting exhaustion and tears, frustration boiled over as Anne, infuriated by Millie's perceived weakness, made a fateful decision to abandon her in the forest, ignoring the girl's desperate pleas, and fled, leaving Millie to fend for herself amidst the looming threat of predatory beasts. Now, when Millie found herself trapped between the jaws of danger. Anne's rash actions cast a shadow of regret over her heart. However, consumed by her own insecurities and jealousy, and remained oblivious to the gravity of her betrayal, the echoes of Millie's cries fading into the wilderness as the forest closed in around her, it was clear to her that there was no way to get out of this dangerous scenario, the only question was which of the potentially dangerous individuals would get to her first. While Millie was preparing herself for the impending torture, she closed her eyes. Suddenly, something that she had not anticipated occurred. The wolf sprang in and positioned itself between Millie and the bear. Releasing a frightening snarl at its adversary, the bear advanced cautiously. But the wolf jumped in and positioned itself between the two. It awaited her, acting as a silent sentinel, protecting her from any potential harm. From Millie's perspective, it appeared as though the wolf was attempting to stake its claim to her. Upon recognizing the wolf's unwillingness to engage in a conflict with an angry opponent, the bear made the decision to retreat in order to look for easier food in other areas. Millie, who was escorted by the wolf, was left behind there. She was trembling as she watched the wolf approach, its warm breath gently caressing her skin as it did so. Nevertheless, she was taken aback by the unexpected tenderness that she experienced as the wolf's tongue lightly touched her cheek. During that particular instant, the wolf gave off the impression of being less of a predator and more of a kind companion. With a sense of encouragement, Millie reached out to rub its fur. And as she saw its tail wag in response, she had the bravery to embrace it. Millie allowed herself to dream while they sat together, waiting to see what fate had in store for them. She might have imagined a reunion with and or possibly a reconciliation between her parents, who had been divorced for a long time. She was able to find peace and quiet when she drifted off to sleep, free from the typical nightmares. Meanwhile, and struggled to come to terms with the fact that she had made a catastrophic mistake. A sense of self-preservation was sparked within her as she contemplated the consequences that might result from leaving the child alone in the woods. When she went back to the location where she had left Millie, 
she was filled with apprehension when she realized that the girl was nowhere to be seen in the growing darkness, and searched for her in a frantic manner. But her efforts were ultimately fruitless. Seeing that her anxiety was rising, she called for assistance from the forest rangers, fervently hoping that the situation might be resolved quickly in order to avert Stanley's certain wrath. Her efforts, however, were unfruitless because the rangers got in touch with Millie's parents as soon as they discovered that she had vanished. Lydia's attempt to console her husband upon their arrival was met with a chilly rejection, which is symbolic of the abyss that existed between herself and her husband at that precise moment. It was inevitable that the situation would deteriorate before it could improve, despite the fact that they had no interest in anything other than locating their daughter. This meant that the search for Millie had to be put on hold until dawn because the night was getting darker. The process of extracting Stanley and Lydia from the forest proved to be difficult. They were overcome with the agony of leaving their kid alone in the wilderness, particularly in light of the fact that a chilly night was on the horizon. Millie was ensconced in the warmth of a guardian wolf, and they were unaware of the fact that she was sleeping comfortably. With fresh zeal, the hunt was resumed with the break of dawn. The search crew, which would later be joined by her parents, combed through the forest floor. The discovery of wolf footprints that traced Millie's course brought about a wave of hope, despite the fact that Millie's irregular footsteps caused them to be confused. They were filled with apprehension when they contemplated the future that lay ahead of them. They appeared to have realized their worst fears when they discovered the wolf that was wrapped around Millie's clothing. In the face of the possibility that their daughter would come into contact with a predator, Stanley and Lydia were overcome with fear, and tears began to stream down their faces. The rangers were resolved to take action, and they made preparations to do so. However, the wolf, perceiving the imminent danger, stood up, which roused Millie from her sleep. Millie ran into her parents' embrace with a beautiful smile. Her cheeks flushed with all the joy that she was experiencing. After a brief moment of hesitation, the wolf appeared to make sense of the fact that the girl was secure in the arms of her family. After giving Millie one last look, it disappeared into the forest. Having successfully completed its mission of protecting Millie from the other predators that lurked in the forest throughout the night, Stanley and Lydia were hit with a surge of emotions as they came to the realization that a wild creature had been watching over their daughter, who was defenseless. The tears that they shed were a witness to the intermingled emotions of appreciation, relief, fear, and delight. Despite the fact that the forest rangers continued to be perplexed by the wild wolf's selflessness, Stanley and Lydia were filled with an unending sense of appreciation. If it weren't for the wolf's intervention, the situation could have been far more dire for their daughter. Anne's insane envy of a child was the driving force behind all that happened. And they were unable to ignore it. And fabricated a story about Millie's supposed escape during a moment of diversion. But the child's own comments quickly exposed her lying. Millie appeared to have escaped during the interruption. Stanley was adamant in his demand that and leave their lives immediately following their separation, and was thereafter accused of abandoning, and she disappeared from their lives on an irreversible basis. In spite of the fact that Stanley and Lydia did not successfully reunite, they devoted their attention entirely to making sure that Millie was happy and healthy. Their approach to future relationships was marked by increased care, and they were on the lookout for any potential warning flags. In the very following day, as a representation of the joy that they had recently discovered, they welcomed a puppy into their lives, embracing the promise that better times were on the horizon. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's story. See you next time.